My name is Ron Wilstein, and I'm a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties here in Park City, Utah. Thank you for joining me for this Arrow Leaf Market Update. I have three objectives here today. I want to begin by sharing with you a brief overview of the Park City real estate market. Then I'm going to ask my colleague Doug Olmsted to come on and share with you details regarding recent sales and prices here at Arrow Leaf. And then I'll wrap up number three with discussing the Park City real estate myth. Now I'm going to give you an overview of the Park City real estate market. We're going to be looking at sales in particular, and the Park City real estate market right now is rather mixed. So let's take a closer look at it. Over the past 12 months, there's been 1,302 sales, and that's down by 9% or 129 sales from the year before. That consists of homes, condominiums, and vacant land combined, and that's all real estate brokerages combined. When we look at it here with this graph, and the red bars represent the time period of November 2017 through October 2018. Silver bar represents the 12 months before that. We're looking at three categories, homes, condominiums, and lots. You can see that the number of homes sold is down by 9% from 569 sales to 516. Condominiums down also 9% from 670 to 609 and 8% decline among the lots to 177 from 192 the year before. So overall we can observe that the number of sales in most categories are indeed dropping. What's happening with prices? Everyone always wants to know about prices. Good news is while we're seeing the drop in the number of sales, we are seeing prices continuing to rise. This is a graph that shows you the home medium sold prices and we've broken it into the Park City properties and those in the Snyderville Basin in the county area. Appreciation year over year in the city is 4%, climbing from a median price of $1,900,000 to $1,982,500. Much larger increase in the Snyderville Basin, 24% appreciation from $985,000 being the median price to not only breaking the million dollar point, the million one point, but now $1,220,000 been watching our monthly webinars we've been watching this increasing each month so uh, the median price definitely up 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 in the Snyderville Basin. Among condominiums we see a 13 percent increase in the city up to 850,000 from the previous 751 and up 12 percent appreciation in the Snyderville Basin from 485,000 to 545,000. Lots, take a look at this, in the city limits, 26% increase from 777000 being the medium sold price to 980000 Now keep in mind there aren't that many lot sales, about 30 within the city limits, so it's not a huge sampling, but it is accurate what we're presenting to you. Snyderville Basin climbed 16% with the median price rising from 425000 to just under 500000 at 495000 so that's a lot of data. The question is, what's going on here? Key things I want to point out to you is sold prices continually to go up, number of sales going down. Now usually when you see the number of sales dropping, prices tend to fall back and that increases the number of sales. But that's actually not what we're seeing in the Park City market. Let's look at it in terms of days on the market. The average number of days that it's taking for homes to sell on the market today is 110 days. Now some sell faster, some take longer, but that is an average time for homes to sell. Now let's look at listings that are on the market but haven't sold. The average time that listings, home listings are on the market yet without selling is double it, 222 days. So big difference. It shows you that if you price your property correctly, it sells within approximately 110 days. And if you overprice it, then you can be on the market for seven, eight months without a sale. What we're seeing buyers doing is that buyers are purchasing correctly priced properties, and they are not wasting their time on overpriced properties. And consequently, the days on the market are increasing for those overpriced properties. And let's go ahead and take a deeper look into the Arrowleaf real estate market. Condominium sales in Arrowleaf are up 75% over last year's number of sales. 
If we look at this graphically, you can see the red bar is November 2017 through October 2018, and the gray bar is the year prior. Uh, number of sales up three sales, or 75%. I'd like to take a quick minute and just talk about absorption rate. We really like absorption rate. It's a great tool that helps us predict the future of what uh, the real estate market is likely to do. First thing that we do is we take a look at the rate of sales. And in Aeroleaf, the condominiums are selling at a pace of one sale every 52 days. Currently, there are five condominiums on the market in Aeroleaf, which equates to a nine-month inventory. Now, the National Association of Realtors uh, says that a six-month inventory uh, is a balanced market that is uh, equal buyers and sellers in the market. But in a resort environment such as Park City, it's actually nine months. So in Arrowleaf, you can see we're closer to a nine-month or a uh, balanced inventory. Selling prices in Arrowleaf ranged from $939,000 to $1,705,000 making the median sold price $1,600,000. If you look at this again graphically, the red bar is being November 2017 through October 18, and the year prior is in gray. Uh, year prior, $1,742,500. To this year, $1,600,000, or down 8%. Now you can receive this data anytime you would like on sales and arrow leaf. Just go to buyparkcity.com. Uh, choose market reports and click here to receive sold data. I want to take you there just quickly so you can see how easy it is. Here's our website buyparkcity.com again just hit market reports it takes you to click here to receive sold data and this screen pops up it's already selected sold data on the neighborhood or condo project uh, listed below so just tell me arrow leaf and your unit number your name and your email, your phone number, hit submit, that will come to me. I will compile that sales data and get that sent over to you. The easiest way to do it uh, otherwise is to just send me an email directly, which is doug at the realsteamteam.com. Uh, anything I can do to help you out, Arrowleaf, or anything that's on your mind uh, real estate related, just let me know. Thanks for your time. I shared earlier in this webinar that our real estate market is a bit mixed. We have prices continuing to increase while the number of sales are decreasing, and that's led to some confusion about the Park City real estate market. I want to take a moment to clarify it with some additional facts, what I call the Park City real estate myth. More than half of the active listings on the market are overpriced. How much are they overpriced? Well, in some instances, drastically overpriced. As I mentioned before, buyers are purchasing correctly priced properties, they're not wasting their time on overpriced properties, and the days on the market are increasing. Eventually, sellers who really want to sell their properties will lower their list prices to the proper range, and they sell their properties with no problem. The truth is, two out of three listings that are on the market are overpriced, and they're not likely to sell in the next 12 months. This is particularly true among high-end properties. By high-end, I'm referring to homes or condos that are priced at $2 million or above. Where do I see the market headed? I see the market heading this way in the future. There are overpriced listings and there the prices will need to drop before they'll have any chance of selling, otherwise they simply will not sell. Then there are correctly priced listings and they're moving and selling and often setting a new record high price. These two patterns need to come together for sold prices moving forward. And so I expect to see prices to continue to rise year over year, and I expect to see the need for overpriced listings to keep dropping, and sometimes multiple price reductions in order to get to the right range in order to have a sale. Now it's important that you combine all these facts together, because if not, you have a myth, and you can be easily misled as to what the market is doing. The facts are more important, you need to be mindful of those. Our November Park City Link newsletter was printed this week, and it contains some very timely and important topics. They include why sold prices are going up and list prices are dropping. Uh, I provide you with details on some of the fantastic multi-resort lift passes, including the Epic Pass, the Icon Pass, and the Mountain Collective Pass. Other important details about buying and selling 
and an important discussion on the Park City real estate myth. Uh, that should be arriving in your mailbox shortly if you're on our mailing list, but you can go online and read it at our website at buyparkcity.com forward slash Park City link. And we've attached a number of uh, important links to the online version of the newsletter that you may find helpful. Uh, if not, you'll receive it any day now in the mail and you can read it and um, we hope that you'll enjoy that. If you're not currently receiving a printed version of the newsletter and you would like to, you can subscribe by emailing info at the team.com and simply provide your name and your mailing list and say, send me the newsletter. We'll make sure we get you the current November issue out and all future issues as they are published. As we wrap up, let's talk about our website, buyparkcity.com. I'm proud to say that our website is the best website for Park City and Deer Valley real estate, bar none. Our website contains many things that are not available on any other website out there. You've asked for certain features, we've created them, and no one else has them. So let's take a look at the website. Our website is the fastest and easiest site to use out there. And that's, of course, important because we all know how frustrating it is to be on a slow website, so we have put ours on steroids. It is also the most up-to-date website. The listings that are displayed here are updated every five minutes. That means if a new property comes on the market, it is listed here within five minutes of going into the multiple listing service. Our market stats are updated monthly. In fact, let me just show it to you. Go to uh, market information. And we've got plenty of stats here. Click on market stats and nice article here. And then you scroll down a little bit and we've got home sales and prices. We've got condo sales and prices, land sales and prices, days on market information. This is updated every single month. So it will never be old or stale information for you. Then of course we have our webinars. Our webinars are an important part of our marketing presentation. You can go to our webinar library and you'll see Market Talk webinars and we always display our last six that we have presented. They're updated every single month. We have webinars for buyers and reports that we've written for them. We have webinars for sellers. We have webinars on special topics like flood zone or taxes. Just plenty of information here. Uh, lots of information that is requested and people want and is available 24-7. You can easily set searches for properties on our website. We're here on the home page. You can do it by MOS area if you happen to know what it is. You could easily go down here to uh, say Jeremy Ranch and click search. There's your properties there in Jeremy Ranch. You can look at any one of them and see the details. Scroll down, get further information, even set up an appointment to see the property if you want. And then, of course, you can always refine your search by clicking the refine button. Maybe you want to narrow it down to a certain square footage or a certain number of bedrooms or bathrooms, or if you're trying to do a search on a particular condominiums, you can eliminate homes and you can choose how many bedrooms, bathrooms, whatever your preferences are. Simply hit search again. Now you have your next criteria. Once you get to the criteria that you want, you simply save it. Save that search, you give it a name, and you decide how frequently you want to receive the search by email. You can receive it daily, and that means if you're looking for a particular type of property, unless one comes on the market, you won't get a notification. But if three days in a row one does, then you'll be notified three days in a row. If you don't want to notify that often, you can set it to weekly or bi-weekly or even monthly or even never. You can simply save the search so that you don't have to set it up each time. And if you do that, then you go into your website and you choose a save search. And you simply choose whichever search you want and click view. There it is. Just that easy. We've built into our website many popular searches. And here from the home page, you simply scroll down a little bit. You'll see in the right sidebar, we've grouped them by Deer Valley neighborhoods or Park City neighborhoods or surrounding neighborhoods. And the beauty of this is, let's say you're interested in Pinebrook as an example. You click on Pinebrook, you're instantly taken to the Pinebrook page. If we have a webinar for that particular neighborhood, as we do here at Pinebrook, you click on it and you start watching it, you get an update on the neighborhood. 
or you simply scroll down and you'll see properties that are in Pine Brook um, and you choose whichever one you want to look at if you want to know where they're located on a map there it is hover over any one of them and it will point you to the details and open it up if that's what you want we've also added a market report feature to our website and if you're on a specific page like we are here with Pinebrook you simply go to the Pinebrook market report and it will instantly show you what's on the market in Pinebrook. It's broken into categories of active listings and you can go to any of these listings choose it, open it up, there it is again get the details or you scroll down a little bit lower and you will come to the properties under contract section so you can see uh, which properties are now under contract in that particular neighborhood. Now the Park City Multiple Listing Service does not allow us to feature sold data on our website. That's one of the rules. But we want you to be able to have that information if that's important to you. So at the very top, it says click here to receive the sold data. You click on that and you'll be able to give us details on what sold data you want and we'll send that to you. Just that simple. You can create a market report on any category a property in an area that you want. Just go to the market reports tab here. Here you can choose home, condo, or land, or both. You can put in prices, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, areas over here. Whatever your criteria is, you select that and then you click on go to report and instantly you'll have the report. Of course you can refine the report at any point in time, but if you get the report to where you want it, and let's say it's on your particular neighborhood, that you're interested in or you own a condo in a particular condo complex and you want to know whenever a new ones come on the market or go under contract you say you, you get it to exactly where you want it then you save it all you do is push save name that report and then you tell the, the website how frequently you want to receive the report our default is to monthly because most people want it monthly they don't want to get it any more often than that but if you want it more often you can make it weekly you can even say never and if you say never, then you'll never get an email with the report, but you can go to the website, log on, and choose your saved reports. And there you will find your collection of saved property searches as well as saved reports. And all you have to do is hit view, and there's your report. It's just that simple. So key thing was we want to be able to get information to you quickly and instantly, right when you want it. Finally, let me just say this, that if you're interested in knowing what your property is worth, you can go to this button, click on it, and it will take you to this screen. All you do is type in your address here, and it will start to autofill based upon being a smart website. Or if it's a condominium property, the name of the condo, put the unit number in and hit submit. And our website will give you an instant valuation of your property. And you're probably asking how accurate is that? It's pretty accurate, but it is an estimate. If you want a very accurate one, we're happy to provide it. It's called a property value assessment, and you'll be given the opportunity to request it. There's no cost for it. But then we'll go and look at your property. We'll look at the comparables, and it will be, frankly, a much more accurate assessment. But if you're just curious about what its value is, uh, this instant value feature is, um, is actually very accurate. But don't believe me about the website. Check it out for yourself. We're quite excited about it. And the best part of all is that we will never call you or bug you. Last year, our team sold 21 properties for every one the average Park City agent sold. We are very busy selling real estate. This is what we do. This is what we do best. We don't have time to call you. And frankly, we know that you don't want to be bugged by us. We provide the information 24-7 on our website. It's fast. It's powerful. It's always current. It's there for you. Take advantage of it. Having said all that, if you want our assistance, we will drop everything to provide it to you. That's our approach. Don't want to bug you, but we're always here with good information if that's what you're after. If you've got any questions, call or send us an email, ron at the or doug at the team.com. If you'd like us to give you a call back, include your phone number and the best time to reach out to you, and we will give you a ring. I want to remind you that each month we have our Park City Market Talk webinar. It's about a 15-minute presentation, give you an update on the Park City Marketplace, additional stats that are current, and uh, discuss topics that are on everyone's mind. Thank you for watching our webinar. If you liked our webinar and found it helpful, please like us by clicking on the YouTube icon below. That would take you to our YouTube channel, and then you can like us there. 
This will let us know that you appreciated the webinar and we will continue to do these in the future for you. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and that will automatically notify you when we update these webinars and you can do that on the YouTube channel as well. Don't forget to bookmark buyparkcity.com forward slash arrowleaf.